بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد so i want to talk about righteous deeds and this is a beautiful hadith of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and it is uh, in a book called sharh al targhib wa tarhib li ibn mundhir uh, ibn mundhiri tarhi lil mundhiri and this is a beautiful faida here something beneficial for us about good deeds the prophet ali and and he entitled it thalatha dhamma allah lahum ar-rizq wal jannah he said three people that allah has guaranteed them rizq and jannah and rizq what is rizq wealth. hmm you just said it before wealth wealth good so your rizq is like your wealth that could be property it could be money it could be you know your provisions the things you're providing even from your risk even food in your and so forth is your risk as well even the bird the animals they get risk when they go out looking for food they get risk you know when Allah provides for them that the bird brings home worms or whatever the cougar brings home a deer that's from their risk and so in this hadith as the imam said ruya imam abu dawud hadithan an abi umama wa fihi qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam thalatha kulluhum daman ala allah in asha rizq rizq wa kafi wa in mata adkhalahu allah al jannah so in this hadith the hadith of abi umama This is hadith of who? Abi Umama. Abi Umama. He said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Three people, Allah has guaranteed them Jannah. And then he said that if he lives, his rizq will be sufficient. And if he dies... Allah will enter him into paradise. So if a person is one of these three people, Allah has guaranteed them paradise. And if and, and they if they are living, if they live, Allah will make their rizq sufficient. If they die, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will enter them into paradise. How many people are there that he's mentioned? Three. three. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said three. And then the first one he said man dakhala baytihi fa sallama fa huwa dhamin ala Allah The first person the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that is promised or guaranteed paradise if they do this it's the person who enters his house and he gives salams then he is promised jannah uh, he is promised uh, then he has a uh, he is guaranteed uh and protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first thing you want to do, you want to give salams to the to the people in your house, to your mother when you come in the house, your brother, your sister, the guest, whoever, give salams. Come in the house, say the dua for entering the house, but say assalamu alaykum. If you say that, Allah is promising you jannah. And if you live, you live after that time, Allah is going to give you rizq which is sufficient for you the imam said he said that people that return the salam upon the creation and to their families and that are, they treat people with uh with safety and security and 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 they're comforted and they're comforting to the people they're nice to the people that this is the way of the muslim that they will be safe and they will provide safety for others and if they do that and they do not want to harm other people anyone then that that's because salam or giving salams and so forth and 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 you know saying assalamu alaykum and if you mean it from the heart you are 
uh, this is a, a means for security and safety and stability and comfort. And then he said, and what is strange is some of the people, they say, Salaamu Alaikum. But then when they enter the house, they hit this person. They yell and raise their voice at this person. And so forth, that they contradict the fact of salam. Salam, when you say salam alaikum, it should be a, a, a way of bringing good to people. You don't say salam alaikum and you dislike someone. Salam alaikum, and you, you want to fight them or you want to harm them. Salam alaikum, you know, may peace be upon you. You are trying to spread peace. You are trying to spread security and comfort to people. You understand? So that's why when we say salam alaikum, it really has meaning. It's really important. And then he said, he gave also as evidence the example of the Prophet Sallallahu who said, Khayrakum, Khayrakum li ahlihi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best of you is the best person to his family. This is what the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said. So then if a person comes into his house and he gives salams to, his, to the people in the house, then he will get ajr from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And Allah will increase his rizq and enter in paradise. That's beautiful. Then he said, and he said, and, and he also said with that, he said, because when you give salam, that's the miftah husn al That when you say salam to someone or peace be upon someone or something like this, peace be upon you, that this is the, um, this is the, the key to good manners. What's the key to good manners? Jazakallah khairan. So salam is the key to good manners. Salam is the key to good manners. Meaning peace is the good to good manners or giving uh, saying salam alaikum to people. So if your if your manners are good, then you are uh, you have the you have a right or Allah is blessing you with this right for, uh, to that He will provide for you because you spread the salams and you spread peace in this in a sense and the risk that he gives you will be sufficient for you and he will enter you into paradise and this is why they say salam is the it's the key and it is the means and the uh the way of the door for uh good good manners salam is a door for good manners Then he said, the, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the, the second part of the hadith, he said, وَمَنْ خَرَجَ الْمَسْجِدْ فُوَ الظَّامٍ عَلَى اللَّهِ So then the second person who is, 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 is uh, guaranteed paradise by law is a person who leaves from the, uh, who leaves to go to the masjid. This is why I say go to the masjid. And may Allah forgive us for our shortcomings. That the person who leaves his house or whatever to go to the masjid has security and guarantee from Allah, Jannah. So then he says, إِذَا ذَهَبْتَ إِلَى صَلَاةِ الْجَمَاعَةِ وَأَنْتَ مَعْجُورْ بِهَا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ هُنَا مَنَّ لَكَ الرِّزْقُ الْجَنَّةِ This is beautiful. He said, so he explained this. He said that this means... If, for example, you go to the masjid to pray Salat al-Jama'ah, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, or Isha, with the Jama'ah of, Muslimin, uh, of the Muslims, then you will have reward from Allah, wa ma'jur, meaning that Allah accepts that prayer, that your prayer is accepted by Allah, meaning that you went and you prayed properly, you prayed according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu you were concentrating, you weren't making jokes in Salat, you straighten your rows, you were wearing the proper clothes, you face the Qibla, you did all the things that you need to to make your Salat uh, proper and your wudu and your ikhlas, your sincerity was for who? For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Good. Then you will, so if your Salat is proper and you go to the masjid to pray with the jamaat, then for you is rizq from Allah. Allah will guarantee you rizq and jannah. Rizq and Jannah. 
So this is a beautiful hadith. I'm very glad we came across it. This should encourage us. And that's the importance of this book. This book is very important that it, it encourages you to be have a ibadah and strengthen your ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he explains some other beneficial things, but we'll get to the to the third person. So we mentioned the the first one is the one who spreads salams in this house. Mm -hmm. The second one is the person who leaves and goes to the masjid to pray. Mm -hmm. And the third person that the Prophet والسلام, mentioned is the person who Woman kharaja fi sabilillah fuhuwa dhamin ala Allah. So the Prophet والسلام, said, the person who goes fi sabilillah. This isn't like there's a group, they say go fi sabilillah and they mean go in da'wah. No doubt da'wah is fi sabilillah and there's khair. But the Prophet والسلام, is talking about here and what's mainly mentioned when it means fi sabilillah in the Quran, it's mentioned the person who is a mujahid, who goes uh, fi sabilillah in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then this person, they are guaranteed paradise by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ خَرَجَ مُجَاهِدٍ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ فَهُوَ الضَّامِنَ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنْ يَرْجَعُهُ بِأَجَرْ وَغَنِيمًا أَوْ يَسْتَشْهِدْ فَيَكُونْ فِي أَعْلَى عُلِّيِينَ عُلِّيِينَ This is beautiful. He, so he said that this means that the person who goes as a mujahid, fi sabilillah, in the, in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, then this person is guaranteed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if he uh, returns, that he will get reward. And even if he doesn't return, he, he will get reward from Allah. He will, if he returns, he will get the, not that just that reward, but he'll get ghanima. He'll get what's called war provisions. You know, from striving in the cause of Allah, and he was able to get what's called ghanima, the provisions, or war booty. Or that he is killed if, he's, if he is martyred during this, then Allah will make him in the highest levels of paradise. This is, this is the reward. So this shows us those three people that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, the one who gives salam, gives salam in your house. Uh, the second one is the one who, uh, what's the second one? Jazakallah khair, may Allah bless you with Jannah for no. Second one is the one who goes to the masjid, and what's the third one, Abdurrahim? The one who goes jihad fi sabidillah. Jazakallah khair. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who enter Jannah for no. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.